three reasons most of you are never going to be rich. One, you do not identify opportunity. The opportunity we are discussing now, which happened on the 12th of March, where I bought 600 grand of Bitcoin, which is now worth in excess of 7 million. I've done zero work, zero. I've turned 600K into 7 million just because I identified an opportunity. It took me 10 minutes. You're th sitting out there thinking, if I just had a million, if I could just become a millionaire, that's how easy it is. Now you probably didn't have 600K to buy Bitcoin like I did, fine. You could have put 600 in and had 70 grand. 70,000 you could have had from 600. But you do not identify opportunities. This is the first thing you do not do. You do not pay attention to the world around you. You just live in your little bubble. You're too busy arguing with your ugly girlfriend, too busy stressed out about some dumb shit, too busy sleeping in. You don't pay attention. You're not perspicacious. This is why you miss opportunities. It's the first reason you're never gonna be rich. Second reason you're never gonna be rich is that everything that is taught and told about wealth creation is outdated. Your parents' idea of how to generate wealth no longer works. Your parents say, just work hard, save your money, put it in a savings account, and then get a mortgage, and then you can pay off the house all garbage. That stuff doesn't work anymore. Back when your parents were doing that, the savings account gave them six, 7% interest. Now you don't even get 1%. Pay off the house. How much, how much cheaper was a house in relation to their wages then than it is now? It's insane. If you actually try and make money by just putting money in a savings account and getting a mortgage and paying off the mortgage, you're gonna be broke until you're 60. And that's not getting rich. You need to be rich when you're young and sexy like me, not when you're old. Because nobody cares about the old dude in the Lambo, they care about the young dude in the Lambo. So everything you've been told and taught about wealth creation is outdated and wrong. The key to wealth creation, everything has changed. The whole game has changed. And I even say to people all the time, the ones I mentor and coach, don't buy a house, rent a house. They're like, oh, but isn't that wasting money? No, what's wasting money is buying a house, giving huge interest rates to a fucking bank, and then tying yourself to one geographical location. The reason humans are the number one species on the planet is because of our adaptability, the ability to adapt. I can go anywhere on earth. I can go wherever the money is, where the money resides. If the money's residing in Japan, I can go to Japan. If I need to go to Singapore, I can go to Singapore. I can go live in Los motherfucking Vegas. Wherever I'm gonna get paid, I can go and I'll just rent, 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 rent. Boom, boom, boom. I ain't got nothing tying me down. It ain't gonna take years for me to buy or sell something. I ain't gonna worry about all the upkeep and property maintenance. Buying a house is foolish. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I do own this house because I wanted it to be exactly the way I want it, but I'm rich rich, right? You aren't. So you shouldn't be doing that shit anyway. You do not need to buy a house. It's one of the biggest mistakes you can make. It's a psychological thing that your parents have told you. If you own a home, if you own a home, if you own a home. And then I tell people this and they go, oh yeah, but you can always rent it out. You're gonna spend 300,000 on a house so that you can rent out for 800 a month. And then every time the boiler breaks, you're gonna spend 500 fixing the boiler and they're gonna damage your house. And by the time they leave, you're gonna to need a whole bunch of repairs and they're gonna be calling you all the time for hassle and stress if they even pay the rent on time. You think that's a good spend of 300 grand? Do you know what else you could do with 300 grand? Buy Bitcoin. Revolutionary. Your real estate can be on the blockchain instead of out here. Because when it's on the blockchain, it can be sold instantly. You ever tried to sell a house? It takes years. Ever tried to sell Bitcoin? It takes seconds. So this is the second reason you're never gonna be rich. Because all your ideas and concepts of how wealth is created are outdated. Three, the third and most important reason you're never gonna be rich is because you do not have a plan. You do not have a plan to get rich. Nothing good has ever happened on accident. Have you ever met a guy who's just got covered in muscle, he's got six pack? You're like, hey bro, how'd you do that? You've been going to the gym. No, nah, man, it was, just, it was just an accident. Oops. No, he built that body purposefully. He did things specifically to get the result he desired. He ate a specific way. He trained a specific amount. He knew exactly what he was doing. Every rich person knows exactly what they're doing. People who are making money know exactly how to do it. You're sitting there saying, I want to be rich. You don't even have a plan to get rich. How the fuck are you going to get rich on accident? How's that gonna happen? Oops, I'm a millionaire. <laughs> Never. So, one, you do not pay attention to opportunities in crisis. Two, everything you understand about wealth creation is outdated and wrong. And three, you do not have a plan. There are three keys, I believe, to making money. First one's perspicacity. Most people go through life and they do not pay attention. I've said this before and I wanna stick by it because it's so important. 
You need to pay attention to every single time you spend money because you cannot make money. You're not the Federal Reserve, you're not a government. Governments make money. All of us take money from somebody else or a business or a government. We take money from other things. So the easiest way to learn how to get good at taking money is to pay attention to every time someone takes money from you. So next time you buy a coffee, don't just buy the coffee and drink it and think nothing of it like every brokey. Don't do that. Say, okay, I, why am I buying this coffee? Okay, I want a coffee. All right, why am, I, why am I buying here? Well, this is on my way to work. Is there any competition around? Do I also want breakfast? Do they sell breakfast? No, they don't sell breakfast. They could probably make some more money there selling breakfast. Anyway, I walk in, there's a long line. Why is there one member of staff? I'm low on time. I'm about to leave and not buy the coffee. They're about to lose money because it's taking too long. Most of the people in this line are businessmen. Why is there not a cute girl behind the counter? I bet if they paid a cute girl a little bit more, they'd still make a bunch more money because people come in here to talk to her. Think. And then you, what you'll do is, as you go through life, every time you spend money, is you'll realize the problem is not how to make money. The problem is how much time you have because there's endless business ideas. There's endless ideas. I walk into a coffee shop and by the time I've walked out, I already know exactly how to open up next door and outcompete from head to toe. I already have worked out how much is the rent, how, where are they fucking up, what are they not selling that should be selling, what are they doing good, what are they doing bad, this chair is too hard, I'll wreck them. And I'll send it, and now my network is so powerful, which is the second point, network, I can send a few messages on WhatsApp and make a bank transfer. And two months later, there's a brand new coffee shop next door with my name on it, put them out, put them out of business. So the first thing is you have to pay attention. Because if you pay attention, you'll start to learn that money is everywhere. Every building is owned. These are skyscrapers. Billion, 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 billions. Every apartment nowadays is a million. Million, million. You drive down a street in London, you're driving past trillions of dollars. There's money everywhere. It's all around us. When I was broke, I thought that the world was broke. I thought that there was no money. And then I got rich and realized that I was completely and utterly wrong. There's so much money. It's everywhere. If I go to try and buy a plane or a jet, they're always sold out. My yacht is a fucking six year waiting list. I want a Bugatti, they launch it, the email comes to my email address, two minutes later, gone. Like, the, there's so much money. If I want a diamond watch, or a million dollar watch, or a million dollar Rolex, you can't get this stuff. There is so much money out there. Once you get to a certain echelon, you realize there's money fucking everywhere. So there's plenty of money in the world. People with no money are just not very good at taking it. So you need to start paying attention. It's the first thing. Second thing is network. It's hard to make money if you don't know anybody who has money. If you sit in a room full of ice cream experts and all they talk about is ice cream, how to make ice cream, the different flavors, how to store it, how to move it, how to sell it. Even by accident, if you hang around with these people long enough, when someone asks you a question about ice cream, that's what you're gonna, you're gonna know the answer. You're gonna say, you know what? That's because it's pistachio and that needs to be two degrees higher than chocolate. And you look like a smart ass. So if you sit in a room full of people who are making a bunch of money, everyone understands this. Your network is your network. You're the sum of the five people you spend the most time with. Everybody understands this. And then they still hang around with fucking losers. Because they're dummies. You're right, I am the sum of the five people I spend the most time with. Anyway, this is my friend Nick. He's so funny when we go drinking because he gets really drunk. <laughs> losers. I don't talk to anybody who is not winning. Everybody whose phone, uh, every phone call I will answer, if I answer a phone call, it is from a winner. I don't talk to losers. Everyone I talk to is winning. Everyone I talk to is making money. Everybody. If my entire reality is full of multimillionaires making money, how am I not gonna make money? And this is why network is so important, is because it's the same reason that wolves hunt in packs. If you're a lone animal, you have one set of eyes. But if you're a pack, you're watching every single angle every single side. Perhaps I might miss something. I'm as perspicacious as possible. But one of my friends identifies that the war in Ukraine is going to change and the Russian rubles are going to make a bunch of money. Before it's going to be, for example. I may not have noticed, but he'll notice. Now I've made a bunch of million dollars to get a text message, right? Because I have friends who are paying attention. All of us are paying attention. So your network is super important. That's another thing. We'll go into this because I have something called The War Room, which is also on corporatetech.com and let people read for themselves. But that's my private network. And we specifically talk about money. And, and a few other things. It's, it's the real world's how to make money and The War Room's what to do with money. But second is network. And third is to identify the reason why you don't have as much money as you want so far. And there's one of three reasons. You are either lazy, stupid, or arrogant. Those are the only three reasons anyone's 
and you have to identify and choose one. The majority of people are not the one they think they are. The majority of people are the one I'm record and stay here. So let's start with lazy. There are a lot of lazy people. The unfortunate reality about money is that you are competing. So it's player versus player. It's like anything. If you want that beautiful girl, so does everyone else. You have to win the competition. You want that car, you have to get it first. You want that money, everyone wants that money. You have to compete. It's competitive. Business is competitive. You are competing against people like me. You're competing against people like the people in my network. You're competing about people who only talk about money, who understand money very well, who operate in jurisdictions all around the planet, who are extremely well connected, who know things before you know them, who have mass influence and mass power and mass resource. You're competing against me. This is what you must understand. You're not waking up going, oh, I'll make some money. You're competing against people like me. You're competing against billionaires. You're competing against hedge funds. How do these hedge funds keep growing? Where are they getting that money from? From the brokies. They're robbing you. They're robbing all the poor people from the pension fund, dummy. That's where they get it from. This is who you're competing against. So the competition is absolutely and utterly fierce. Understanding that, understanding that you're a man with a small pistol up against a mighty army, if you want to add a little bit of laziness on top, you're fine. So when I say people are lazy, you go, I'm not lazy, I work hard every day. You work eight hours a day? You work eight, eight? The fuck? If I'm awake, I'm working. I'll be driving my Bugatti Chiron through Dubai, working. I'm texting at the same fucking time. I don't take a second off. I don't take a minute off. I don't relax. I don't rest. I don't stop. I don't chill. None ever. I'm either asleep or at work. That's it. Second I wake up, I check my phone, I begin working. I go to the gym in between sets, I am working. I'm online working the entire fucking day until the second I go to sleep, I am at work. That is all I do. And you are at home competing against me and you want to watch a movie tonight and then say you're not lazy. You're fucking lazy and you're going to lose forever. That's laziness. Next is stupid. I don't think Many people are actually too stupid to be rich. You can be below average IQ and still get very rich. Very, a very small percentage of people are too dumb to be rich. The slave minds, they'll never be rich because the matrix tries to keep you poor because when you're poor, you can't think, as we talked about earlier. So everything the media tells you is designed to make you poor. They want you broke and struggling because if you rely on the government for food stamps, and you can't argue with the government, can you? So that's what they want. So anyone who believes in the matrix and believes in media and believes in the lies they're told, anyone who sits there and goes, that's true, that it's literally designed to make you broke. That's why it's all a scam. Do your GCSEs, do your A-levels, get in debt, go to uni, get out, get a shit job, get a mortgage. Don't worry, when you've paid that mortgage off when you're 61, then you'll have enough money to go to Spain for holiday. Then your pension comes. Oh, government doesn't have the pension money anymore. Funny enough, hedge fund stole it. Oops, de doops. And then you wake up one day and go, whoa, I just got fucked. So the whole scam, the whole story is a lie because they want you broke. <laughs> they don't want you rich. If you're rich, you won't listen to them. So all of it's a fucking lie. And intrinsically, we all know this because anyone who follows the rules doesn't get shit. <laughs> it's all a scam. It's all a fucking lie. So the slave minds are fucked. But those are the only ones who are too stupid to make money. Anybody who understands that the matrix is lying to them is smart enough. So very few, very small percent are too stupid. Inside of our school, at the height of it, before the matrix attack, we're relaunching now, we had 175,000 students. Wow. When we had 175,000 students, maybe 2,000 we kicked out for being too stupid. It's step by step. Do this, do that, do this, and don't be lazy. The fuck, it's not that hard, right? So stupid's not the problem. So we have people who are lazy, very few are stupid, but the majority, the main reason most people are broke is because they are arrogant. I will sit here and say all the things I've said. I will do this, take time out of my life for free. Somebody at home will watch and digest it for free. They will agree with the things that are being said or at least be entertained enough to continue to watch. And then I'll say, I'll teach you how to make money online. CobraTech.com, you can join the room. And they'll sit there and go, nah, I, I'll do it myself. They're arrogant. They have these egos from fuck knows where because they didn't earn it. And they're just too arrogant to listen to anybody. I became world champion by listening to my coach. I didn't become world champion by walking in and saying, I'll do it myself. 
Just not how you get anywhere in life. You have to listen. If, if Mike Tyson were to walk in, or if Elon Musk were to walk in here and talk to me about money, I wouldn't be sitting there going, I could do that. I'd be like, oh, Mr. Elon, richest man in the world. Hello, very nice to meet you. Please, even though I already understand I don't want to launch a car brand or put rockets in space, please, you must know some things I don't know. How do you deal with the currency fluctuations? Does, it does, does inflation impact how much it costs for you to send a rocket into space? Like, I'd ask him something that's useful, right? But some people, some people are so brutally arrogant that they'll sit here and they'll listen to all the things I said and they'll agree that I'm intelligent, they'll agree I'm massively successful, but they'll sit there and go, yeah, but you know what? I'll, I'll do it myself. I don't want to join that school because you know, I'll, just do, I'll do it myself. They're arrogant. Everybody's fucking arrogant. I sit with people who I used to go to school with from Luton who are still broke and tell them how to make money. And you know what they do? They answer back. Yeah, but you know, it's not that simple because you know, the wife gets the kid, da, 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 and you know what, and I, I don't like to do things that way, the way I like to work. The way you like to work is why you're fucking broke. So what the fuck are you talking about? You just sat here and wasted 10 minutes of my time. I told you how to take your business or painting and decorating or whatever the fuck you're doing and make a serious amount of money and now you're telling me the way you like to work? Then stay fucking broke. The fuck you want me to do? What level of arrogance? But this is people. They'll sit with a multi-millionaire and tell you their view. Oh, I think that the... Know when you're out qualified and accept it and learn. So we all do. I'm not going to get... A, I can't play piano for shit. The piano teacher walked in here and said, this is what you do. And I said, well, I like to move my hands this way. What kind of dumbass? But this is the, this is the arrogance people operate under. So I'd say 20% of people are lazy. 20 to 25%. A large portion of the world are not lazy. They're actually working exceptionally hard, but they're doing the wrong thing. 5% of people are too stupid. So say 25%, 5% is 30%. But 70% of people are brutally arrogant, and this is why they are poor. That's the truth.